It's about teaching us to really dig in to the Word, really want to understand it for our own lives. Not just about what we can get out of health, not just what we can get out of the prevention of disease, but how to really have a relationship with who God really is in our life, what He should be in our life. That's a Be in Health conference. They really do help us understand, for our own lives, the connection between relationships, specifically broken relationships, and disease. You're willing and ready to change. That's what produces a strength in the relationship between you and God, the relationships you have with others and in your own heart. And that's where that health and that's where that hope will show forth. My section I want to move into now is just called Choose. It's the foundation for choices. Choice decision. Deuteronomy chapter 31, and read the whole thing, because in it embodies everything that I would want to say, and I'll save you time and me, and let uh, the Word of God speak to you. May I? Beginning in verse 11, for this commandment which I command you, I'm in Deuteronomy 30, 11 through 20 in your tracking. For this commandment which I command you this day, it is not hidden from you, neither is it far off. I have to tell you this. It's amazing to me how many people want to hear from God and don't read their Bible. It is, you know, sometimes I do a lot of, conferences and I and everybody's so much into the prophetic and somehow people think I'm closer to God than they are which is not true uh, I have the same Holy Spirit that you do and I have people come up to me just engage me say Pastor Wright do you have a word for me oh I said absolutely <laughs> they said what is it read your Bible That's not what they had in mind. They wanted fresh manna. What do you think the word is? The word is a living word of a living being. It's as fresh as you can get. His mercies are new every cotton pick and morning. There, I've said it. It is not hidden from you, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that you should say, who shall send us to heaven to hear God? And bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very nigh unto you in your mouth. So let's get rid of lockjaw. In your mouth and in your heart that you may hear it, yawn, and go back to sleep. Now you may do, do it. See, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. In that I command you this day to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, say his ways. One of the resources that we have available to you is probably the best teaching I have done in 35 years. It's called His Ways Versus Our Ways. It's extensive, it's unabridged, be prepared to settle in. I think it's basic to be an overcomer. And you need to get a CD and DVD. It's called His Ways Versus Our Ways. And this would be the theme that we would spring from, His Ways Versus Our Ways. Are our ways His ways? Are our thoughts His thoughts? 
in how we think. And I want you to track with me in how we think and how we speak and how we act is the journey. And it is a decision of how we think and how we speak and how we act. Very important that you embrace these principles in your heart right now. Don't let this go pew, splat. Because you're called to a journey. You're pilgrims in progress. And you encounter many things in this journey, and you need the tools that the Holy Spirit can use to help you be, key word, an overcomer. Because I read in the Bible what Jesus said in Revelation, the promises to those that are overcomers. And I also saw the woes that would come to those that didn't want to be overcomers. So I read the Bible really as a life itself. You're told to have the mind of Christ. Somebody said, well, I have the mind of Christ. I said, really? Tell me about your mother-in-law, that witch. That's not having the mind of Christ. Come on now. Don't look at me that way. He said, he just read my mail. Walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments. And here you need to really key with me. Why? That you may live. I deal with, I'm known to deal with disease prevention and healing around the world. And most people have disease because they did not choose to live. They choose, they chose to get diseased. And nobody told them that was the consequence of how they thought, how they spoke, and how they acted. That you may live and multiply. Oh, I like that part. And the Lord that and the Lord that your God shall bless you in the land where you go to possess it. But there's three words that the Christian church does not want to hear. If, then, and but. They consider that a negative concept. They don't want conditions. They don't want to hear consequences. They don't want to hear, yeah, but, from God. They just don't want to be instructed. Why? Because they'll have to change. And they don't want to change. I need to change. My family says it's about time. And my success in my marriage is because I had to change. I had to embrace things that was for the betterment of my relationship, not the destruction of it. I can't blame my wife because I'm causing all the trouble. Come on now, we're just talking. But if your heart turns away so that you will not hear. But shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. I denounce unto you this day that you shall surely perish. This is addressed to covenant people. Old Testament, yes. So. Get over it. And you shall not prolong your days upon the land. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you. This is the word of God, folks. That I have set before you life and death, 
blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your seed, your children and your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, may live. That you may love the Lord your God and that you may obey his voice. And that you may cleave unto him. For he is your life and the length of your days. That you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. What a promise. If you've enjoyed this segment of this conference, I encourage you to join our Overcomers community. There you can partake in a whole lot more stuff and watch the rest of this conference.